Greville Wynn was a businessman, cornering quite a niche in a particular market in Eastern Europe and spreading further and further east from Czechoslovakia into Hungary. And then in our version, that's when MI6 tap him, which means obviously, you know, make an approach to work for them. And they want him to go to Russia, but he doesn't know why. So you want me to go to Moscow and then do business. He's just fantastic. He's so much fun to work with. He's such a beautiful actor. He has such energy that comes through in, in both the biggest and the goofiest ways and in the smallest, most intimate ways. We've only shot a couple of scenes together so far, but it's been a blast. I've, I've been such a huge fan of his work for a long time, and it's been really fun to get to watch him transform into this character. Benedict. <laughs> oh, Benedict is just an amazing actor and person to have as your leader on set and he's so precise and wants to kind of experience and explore something with you which is all you ever really want to have on set. Yeah, I completely love him and I think he's just fantastic in this. Don't close out, I've got some cool movie extra trivia. One of the most important elements in Darren Aronofsky's The Fountain is its incredible visuals and special effects. Now, when he realised his budget was too small for all the computer graphics he'd need, Aronofsky turned to other ideas. He hired macro photographer Peter Parks. Now, Parks was used to filming microorganisms in 3D, so he applied the same principles to create footage for The Fountain. The incredible effects to portray outer space were done for a mere 140,000, as opposed to the million that CGI would have cost. Do you like my shirt? You can get one for yourself in the shop section under the video.